it is rare for me to do this. No, I'm just kidding. Look at that. I took the last passenger from Long Beach. I dropped him off at um, Southwest Airlines. And I don't have to worry about the address. And this feels so good. And guess what? He didn't even ask me to pick his bags. He's like, I got the bags. This is easy, my friend. And another thing he said, Mr. Jim said he liked my hat. And I said, you know what? Let's put it on. All right, boys, here we go. Let's see where we're at. 92 for the day. And let's see how much we got paid. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Looking good. Looking good. But I don't think it's going to pick up till later, but who knows? Airport to airport, baby. That's what I do. That's how we roll. Airport to airport. Ooh, you're giving me what? $12 at a 467? Go to hell, Uber. Go to hell, baby. Go to hell. Oh, wait a minute. You are in hell, Uber. You know why? Because you don't have a body. You don't have a mind. You can't smell my armpits. But here's the good news, guys. If I got here and it showed me a 467 for 12 bucks, that means it's popping. It's busy, right? All right, how much did we get paid? Okay, we're at 117 or four passengers. Good. Let me pause this because I'm driving. Make it safe and then we'll talk. I'm still driving, Mr. Uber. What the hell? I taught you. Don't give me anything less than $15. This is bullshit. I'm going to fire you. Mr. Algorithm, I'm going to replace you with a different algorithm. I'm going to delete you. I'm going to delete you, Mr. Uber Algorithm. Head to waiting lot. Oh, there it is. Six. God damn it, Uber. Okay, guys, this is good news. Um, when it's blowing up like this, for some reason... Look at this. Look at this bullshit. I didn't even get to the queue yet, you dumbass. I'm not even at the queue yet. Okay, this is the queue. If you notice, it's blowing up again. I'm at the red light. I just got off John Wayne Airport. I just dropped somebody off. And I'm not even at the parking lot where we're supposed to pick up people. Let me show you where the parking lot is. Yeah, that's where the parking lot is. I'm on my way to the queue area. And it's saying it's going to take me off the queue. It's a retarded app, I'm telling you guys. Look, now it showed me uh, something. And it just clicked for a second and then it went off. Like, I'm telling you, it's a retarded app, guys. It's a retarded app. It, this app belongs in the short bus. I think I know what's going on. I think it's very busy right now. And when it's too busy for you, you can't handle it. They're not giving you enough RAM. They're not giving you enough CPU juice. And then you go a little crazy. But it's okay. Uber, we don't hate you. We just uh, don't like you sometimes. Well, once in a while. Okay, now I am parked. And it's safe. Mr. Uber algorithm, go ahead. Now give me an opportunity to look and see what you have to offer. 41 out of 45, okay. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a screenshot. Because I need to know, oops. I need to know when I got here, what the queue looked like. Now we know, okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do, Mr. Uber algorithm is we're gonna zoom out, we're gonna see where those crazy clouds are. Okay, that's Disneyland, fair enough. What else you got over here? Do you have anything else? Nothing. Okay, now we're gonna wait patiently until our turn comes up. We are gonna study the details from the last ride and a few today, because now we have enough data. We've made $117, and let's take a look at this. The fare was $24, fair enough. Okay, it's right here. Then I took me 31 minutes. That's very good. That means, uh, according to this, we made around $48 an hour. Uh, distance is 22 miles, which is very good. Um, you know, we got two extra dollars. Um, like for 22 miles, we got paid 24. If I get a tip, it will be awesome. But but you never know. You never know. We never we didn't have a conversation, so I don't think I might get a tip on this. Let's go back. This is where we are for the day, my friends. If you look, I started with my first passenger at eight in the morning. It took about an hour um, to drop him off. But here, the mileage is good. 30 miles for $34, um, that's very good. But it took me an hour, so that's basically $35 an hour right there, okay? The second passenger today, by the way, all the videos are on my channel, right? If you watch the last seven videos, uh, you will know exactly what I've been up to, okay? 
Then the second person I picked up, which was a mistake at 941, and for 19 miles, uh, 43 minutes, I made 22. So we can say, you know, that's around $22 for an hour because I got nothing coming back. I actually lost money on this, so this was a bad decision. I went to Malibu hoping I went to Malibu hoping that I can find someone from Malibu that needs to come to the airport, but nothing. I drove all the way back to the airport, right? So that was, that, I think that might have been a bad call. But here's a nice one. At 12 o'clock at LAX, I picked up somebody for, again, 26 miles, got $35. That's very good. And she gave me a $10 tip in this. So that was the best ride I've had so far. Now, as you know, I just dropped this gentleman off, Mr. Jim, for $24. Let's go back here and take a look at my stats for today, okay? $117, this is very good in four passengers in my opinion, it's a Thursday. The goal is to get to 150 and I'm almost there, right? Ideally, I like to be at $100 by noon. That way I know it's hot, but I started late. I started at eight in the morning or seven in the morning when I left. Uh, I was sleeping in, I was hanging out with my buddy last night for dinner, but it's all good. This is pretty good, active for uh, three hours and 20 minutes, uh, seven hours and 20. That means for four hours, I've been working on my YouTube channel. That's the difference between these two, in case you wanted to know. And four trips, that's very good. Four trips is very good. You can divide 120 by four. What would be the math on that? Because I round up, right? Let's say we're gonna say 120 divided by four. That's around 30, that's not bad. That means I'm making $30 per passenger today. How's that possible? I guess it is possible. Uh, here comes a retarded app. Look at this, 469, right? Um, it's gonna take what, 12 minutes? 12 minutes? So let's just say it's at least gonna take 12 minutes there, I don't know, let's say 15 minutes. Like the math doesn't even match there. I don't know why it even offers that. It's like retarded. Okay. Um, let me take a look at the queue. It is moving, which is good. That means I'm at a hot spot here or there's not enough drivers over here. This is good news. Let's compare it to when I got here. So right now the time is 7.20, right? Let's look at when I got here because I took a screenshot. Where's the screenshot? I believe it is... No, did I forget to take a screenshot? Oh no, there it is, right there. Okay, 41.36.21 at 3.14. Yeah, it's moving, guys. Uh, I've been here less than 10 minutes. It's moving and it's popping. This is good news. This is very good news for us. Okay, we're gonna wait till it offers us something good. All of these little ones that are showing up with a bad rating right now, this basically just means that John Wynn Airport is very busy, there's not enough drivers, there's more passengers that need rides, and I'll give you a pro tip over here. Over here at John Wynn Airport, understand this. There is a lot of wealth here, okay? A lot of wealth here. Right here is college. College kids are over here. Over this way is Disneyland, right? Let's zoom out a little bit more. Let me hide me. Okay, look, it's surging over here, good. Fake surge over here, guys. Okay, you do not wanna go that way because you're gonna end up in the toll roads, but let me show you what else. Um, there's a lot of wealth there, vacation. Wealth, vacation, wealth, vacation, wealth, vacation, okay? Uh, Disneyland, right? Or somewhere over here is Disneyland, right? College over here, wealth, wealth, wealth. All of these guys got money, right? So we're at a good location and guess what? Everybody out here, um, this is the focal point, right? Everybody out here needs a ride. They need a ride, 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 they need a ride. Everybody out here needs a ride and it pulls from us over here exactly where we are. This is why this is a hot spot. Now it's not always a hot spot. Right now you have to understand people are here on vacation. People are ending their vacation. People are coming back from vacation. So today, John Wynn Airport right now is a hot spot. Good news for us. Here's another one. This one is going to Anaheim, which is probably going to Disneyland. 
And okay, good for you. Someone took it. We're gonna wait for something bigger. Ooh, the queue's moving. Hell yeah, it's moving fast. I'm hoping 30 bucks. Come on, Uber, give me 30 bucks and then we're good. Yeah, app's going crazy, guys. I'm not gonna show you any more of these, but you know, 444 is always nice. N not only is it giving you bad ratings with people out here, but it's showing you weird numbers like 444. Like it knows, the app knows I'm spiritual, right? So when I see something like 111, I love it, or 222, I love it. Right now, it's trying to confuse me. It's like, hey, maybe the spiritual guy, ex-Muslim Pakistani, will go for 444. And I'm like, no, I give him the finger. Oh my God, look, Uber X, my turn's coming up. I'm probably gonna get put at the end of the queue now because I'm not gonna take any of this crap. I'm gonna wait for Uber X. I mean, sorry, I'm gonna wait for Comfort or Excel. And plus I'm still working in the background. And this is what I'm trying to work on, my notes, and it keeps going beep, 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 beep. Shut the hell up. Sorry guys, I'm a little pumped up. My energy is good right now. Oh, look at that, it's it's changing while I'm here. This is brilliant. This is how you know the queue is good and it's hot. And remember, cherry pick. I'm a cherry picking master. Wait, wait, wait. Always have a backup plan, right? Look, I'm literally sitting here taking my notes for this customer. I'm updating my document, right? And if you watch my first video today, you know my template that I use to create notes like this. And we don't need to talk about it. Look at this, crazy. Now it wants me to accept this. The blue button's on. Uh, no. Uh, no. Look at that. Look at that. No, 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 no. So right now, I'm grabbing all the files that I created while I was at Long Beach Airport and working. Like all the thumbnails, all the videos that I recorded. And I'm literally putting them in this customer, Mr. Jim's folder. Like this, 33. Jesus number. Thank you, baby. Right there. Oh. That's okay. Oh my God, app's still going crazy, guys. App's going crazy in the background. But is it moved? Good. My files are moved. Ten dollars? Uh, no. Okay, that's one thing to note that that out out here, uh, you get ten dollar rides. You get five dollar rides. For some reason, John Wynn Airport will give you the crappiest rides, but eventually one will pop out for a little bit more. So be patient with it. Now, what I'm gonna do is. Because I just dropped off the passenger, I put a heart next to um, two uh, images, and then I find the oldest video, like this one right here for 10 seconds long, right? I'll put a heart next to it. This way, other than the video that I'm recording for you guys right now, I can easily figure out where it is. Because once you once I get over here and into today, there's just too many files going on. So the only way I know where my data is, I have to look right here, find this heart, and find this, and this tells me that all of this and below is backed up. Otherwise, you know, I don't back up all the files and it's important amount I shoot. So my seventh video of the day just got updated with, I haven't updated the title, but I've got the description in, I've got the thumbnails in. Now I'm gonna go to my main channel and make sure that is also updated and it's in the playlist so you guys can watch my stuff real time. And I'll tell you what, there's nobody on the planet that's doing this much work on their YouTube channel. They just don't know. They just don't understand it. There's another crappy ride. Just say no. I'm going to sit here, get put at the end of Uber X, and wait for Comfort or Excel because I'm in no rush right now. And this is where, where I want you guys to pay attention. You are the boss. Especially when it's hot like this, don't settle for anything less than $25, $30, right? And the algorithm's listening, it's paying attention to you. Trust me, these AIs, they're always monitoring what we're doing. This is why I talk to the algorithm. I'm, I've trained my algorithm to match my style of driving, right? It might sound a little bit crazy, but I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, good, we're almost up on Uber XL. You're on the back of the queue? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uber, did you just punish me? Did you put me in a timeout? I am so sorry. Let's see what the Uber XQ looks like. Let's see what the Uber XQ looks like. What does the Uber XQ look like? I think it's less than 30. This is real time. Uber, you're slow, bro. How long are you gonna take to refresh? That would be funny if the Q for Uber X is one out of five. I'm happy because Uber Excel is one out of five. That means I get paid what my rate is supposed to be. I drive an SUV. I should get that. This is a question for you guys. Don't you guys think this is 
thievery that I drive an SUV and when I take an Uber X passenger, Uber takes the money, right? Uber takes the extra money but tells the passenger, hey, we upgraded you to Comfort. We upgraded you to Uber XL, you know? Oh, we love you. So, they, so in order to retain the customer, we get screwed. That's not cool. This is why I don't like this. This is why I make videos like this and I get so passionate about it. There you go. Look, it took almost 30 seconds to refresh. So 36 out of 40, roughly that's where it was at when I got here, right? So that means around another 30 or 40 drivers came. It's all good. I want to be on top of the queue at Uber XL. And if you watch my videos from yesterday, I was driving at Burbank. It's the, the thumbnails with the green. There you'll notice that the comfort, comfort moves over there, right? Uber Comfort, this thing right here, in Burbank moves, not here. At John Wayne Airport in uh, Santa Ana, Uber XL and Uber X. Uber X is moving way, 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 way more. All right, now check this out. I'm in the back of the queue, but it's still popping up, right? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm in the back of the queue and it is still popping up. That means it's a broken algorithm. Look, right here, I'm in the back of the queue. I just got put in the back of the queue. Why is it doing that? I have no idea. It's a broken algorithm, I'm telling you guys. It can't handle it when there's too many drivers and sorry when there's too many passengers and this the supply and demand is too high it doesn't know how to screw us over it cannot screw us over now my title for this video is already ready this is the eighth video i'm going to put up and it's, the title is going to look something like this 117 dollars in four trips driving uber in orange county california and i'm just like just getting it ready as soon as uber gives me this opportunity um, this video is going to go up I think that looks good. All right, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna copy this title. It's good to go. Okay, that's not bad. It's moving up Uber X. Oh no, we're not doing Uber X. I'm in line for Uber XL. Stop showing me this bullshit, dude. $17.451. Not gonna do it. That's what it is. Supply and demand is too high right now. No way, no way, Jose. I would take this if I was very desperate. The guy next to me is a Cowboys fan. He saw my shirt and he goes, how about them Cowboys? I was like, hell yeah. And then I'm like, how you doing? He's like, I'd be doing a lot better if I was making more money. I was like, yeah, bro, me too. Both of us, man, both of us. What do you guys think so far? Do you like my podcast? Do you like my way of showing you how I drive Uber? Uh, is there anything that I can improve? Please let me know in the comments. Uh, a lot of you are liking my videos and sharing them. I appreciate it. This is a brand new channel. It's less than a few months old. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. And um, I just want to say thank you. Look, thank you. And these are all the comments that have come in since I responded to everybody less than an hour ago. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't even read these. So these five more comments I got to respond to. And this is the one that I haven't responded to, but I want to try to see if I can read this one to you. This one seems very good and interesting, and I think it can help you all. Um, let me take a screenshot of this, and I might use this somewhere because this is important what he's saying i think this is very helpful for all of us let me read this together unless uber gives me a ride i might not be able to finish it but i'm gonna try i live 60 miles from lax 
I drive a Toyota Avalon Hybrid 38 miles per gallon and I charge $150 to LAX and $170 for curbside to LAX. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Yeah, he's basically saying that it probably costs him $15 to drop off someone at LAX and come back and $150, that's good money. I place free ads on Nextdoor. I don't know what Nextdoor is, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it, so I need to look into this. I place free ads on Nextdoor and Facebook groups in my city and surrounding cities. Look at that. I would have never known this. This is genius. I average 40 private rides a month. I also have a AAA travel agency that gives my card to all their clients who book vacations with them. I also have, okay, three good tips right here. Mr. Eric, God bless you, man. I'm getting chills at how good your comment is. This is why I haven't responded to you because I saw your comment and I'm like, yo, this is a really good comment. I have to read it, share it with everybody, and then hopefully I respond to you today. And if you notice, you're the only comment that's sitting here that I haven't gotten to yet because it's the best comment I've had all day. Well, I shouldn't say that. All the comments are good, even the trolls because they help my channel grow. My advice, go private and build your own business. I will have to say after going private, I watch a video like this and go, thank God I don't have to deal with this bullshit. Full disclosure, 7K rides on Uber and 2K rides on Lyft. Yeah, this is the bullshit guys he's talking about. He doesn't have to deal with this bullshit. I completely agree with you, my friend. 2k rides on lift it was time to make a change so basically he said it took him around 9,000 driving rides of driving uber and lyft in order for him to start his own private business i've done over 12 or 13,000 rides between the two platforms and i'm ready to leave so i agree hey eric thank you and uh i appreciate this i think in all my videos i like to leave something in the middle and something at the end so people watch it all the way through and this comment that you wrote right here, whoever's regular that watches my channel and watches to the end, they will be grateful because I'm gonna do exactly what you told me there. I am gonna go to Nextdoor, Facebook groups, start my private business, have a website, and watch. And I'm gonna teach people how to do this, right? Thank you, Mr. Eric, I appreciate this. Now I'm gonna respond to you. Thank you and God bless you. It took me a while to respond to your comment because what you said is phenomenal. It is incredible information for me as well as my community online. And guess what? All of us want to thank you for what you have said. Please keep in touch and give us more advice because I have no idea what this next door app is. The Facebook community group, I know, but I completely forgot about it. I haven't dealt with Facebook in a while, but guess what? Thanks for reminding me, and yes, 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 I will let everybody know on my channel. I've literally am in the process of making my eighth YouTube video, and you are on it for today. Basically, my eighth video on YouTube is ending with your comment. So anybody that watches my YouTube channel and goes all the way to the end, they will get a lot of value. Please keep in touch. You are awesome. This is the best comment I've had all week. There you go, my friends. And don't go there. Do not go. This app is going crazy right now. Look, I came back. Okay, now does this make sense? Like, check this out. Why aren't these Uber X people upgrading to Comfort? Why aren't these Uber X people upgrading to Uber XL? Because the algorithm is doing some funky shit right there, right? You know, I got put in the back of Uber XQ. It's gone through 40 people, right? 40 people, but Uber Comfort and Uber XL didn't move at all. Like, the algorithm doesn't want to pay us. Look, this guy's sitting here, this guy's sitting here. None of us are driving. So when passengers complain out there that Uber's too expensive, no. The algorithm is trying to manipulate the passengers and manipulate the drivers. This guy next to me, he's old, just like me. He's bald, white hair. Look at this. After all of that, you think I'm gonna go for $7? 
No. That's probably an Uber X ride that the algorithm has turned into Uber XL, right? This is an L, by the way. And it wants us to think it's an XL ride and take it for seven bucks. No. If that was $15 and two miles, I would have taken it. That's my minimum right now, $15. And I'll get back, put back of Uber XQ again. Man, this video is 25 minutes long, Uber. That's not cool. Normally my videos are not supposed to be this long. My audience does not like to watch 25. Actually, you know what? I hope they watch it because there's a comment in here that's gonna be worth it. So anybody that watches this video to the end, they'll know, like, holy shit. Ahmed normally makes 10 or 12 minute videos. Why did he make a 25 minute video? There must be something good here. There must be good value in this or he's pumped up. Finally, finally, yes, we will take it, finally. Thank you. Judy, I've been waiting for you for 25 minutes. Darling, darling, God bless you. Darling, God bless you. You have no idea how famous you are, Judy. Are you Judge Judy? I hope you're Judge Judy. Actually, if you were Judge Judy, you would not be taking Uber. You would be taking Uber Black. I'm Uber Brown, baby. <laughs>